Hi, my name's Tron, and today I'm going to be talking about Monko and Momo, and how they're floating on the wall. Oh, fuck! Momo! God damn it, you're supposed to stay to the wall. Come on now. Look at Monko, he's being a good boy, and you can't even stand the f I hate job interviews so much, like, you don't even know- I, like, I hate them with a passion. Like, I never feel like I do good in any of them. They'll be asking me random questions like, Name a time you had to face a challenge, a difficult challenge, and how you overcame it. And I'll be like, Well, one time, I didn't know how to do a homework problem. So I copied off my friend. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> like my friend will be telling me a story of how he did kind of good in one or how his wasn't so bad. And I'll be like, can't relate. Mine was goddamn awful. You know what? Momo's just going to stay on the floor. Okay, I'm tired of putting his ass up there all goddamn video. Okay, so it was junior year of college, and I knew going into the real world, I would need real world experience. So I had to go to a bunch of career fairs, I edited my resume, my cover letter, I went to see my advisor, and I looked up tips online, and then I went to career fairs, I talked to a lot of employers, nothing. So I decided to go online through random websites and apply. I got a few interviews, some of them I felt like I did bad, I didn't get them, some of them I felt like I did good. I still didn't get them. Okay, that's a lie. I actually never really feel like I do good in any of them, like I said. So... Okay, so this was like in May, where I knew it was now or never. So I decided to apply for a few more places. And uh, to my surprise, I got an interview offer at the city of Sammamish. At first, I was like, where is that? What is this Sammamish anyway? So I looked it up, and it was like a 90-minute bus ride to get there. And at first, I was just like, hell no! I was just thinking to myself, am I really going to travel 90 minutes out of my way just to fail another job interview? Yeah, I was, because I knew I was never going to live this down if I didn't even attempt it. And so, interview day comes, and I wear my nice dress shirt and my slacks and dress shoes and everything, and I head towards the bus stop, right? And I remember on that day, I had like the worst headache, and it was like really hot outside, so I was also sweating because I was wearing black clothing, so I had a headache. And I was sweating. And do you guys know how it feels when you have those things together? It does not feel good. So I get off my bus. And I was looking around for City Hall because that's where my interview was going to take place. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I was just looking around. I was like, there's a McDonald's. And there's like, I don't see anything that looks like a City Hall. And so I check my phone to see if I'm at the right place. And it turns out I actually got off two stops earlier than I was supposed to. Okay, my interview was in 10 minutes, I looked at the bus schedule, the next bus was coming in 20 minutes, and it would take me 30 minutes to walk there. And I was like, oh my god, are you serious? I was going to come all the way this far, just to go out like this? I was like, oh my god, shoot me now. I, God damn it! Oh my god. And out of one last desperation, I saw a car in the parking lot, and I asked her if I could get a ride pretty much. It was such an awkward position too, she seemed really hesitant, and I really hated to put her in that position, but I had no other choice. So I told her like my situation and everything, we talked it out, and eventually she agreed. I am in my interview, and I just remember being so awkward. I mean, <laughs> I was like stuttering, like, and I was barely making eye contact, I was speaking in a low tone, because I really was not confident in anything that I was saying, especially after all that and after all the failed interviews. My confidence level for interviews was at an all-time low. I felt like a first grader who had to spell the word dog for the first time in front of the whole class. And I was like, uh, huh. <laughs> like I was so nervous. And I remember one of the questions was to name five good qualities about yourself. And I was just like, are you serious? I did not see this question coming at all. I was struggling so hard. Um, I remember one of my uh, adjectives was disciplined, and then I named three more, and then my last one was diligent. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe discipline and diligent are pretty much the same words. So I gave those, I gave two of the same words for the adjectives, and <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. When it was all said and done, I left the building, and going through all those roller coaster of emotions that day and just having to bake in the hot sun for 30 more minutes with another headache I broke down at the bus stop and cried <sighs> so May 30th comes around and I, I start preparing to be a waiter over the summer because I really had no idea what to do I get this random email it says congratulations and I'm like huh it's another spam email right I opened it, it was like we are pleased to deliver your offer letter for 
blank, blank, blank. And I was just like freaking the F out. Like I was yelling at all four of my walls. And I'm pretty sure my neighbors thought I was being murdered or something. But I was just so ecstatic. Oh my god. Like everything I went through, knowing that was my last shot. And I can't believe I just got it that late. I was just so ecstatic. Ugh. I mean, I guess it really is true. It's the little things that make the biggest difference. It was my decision to not decline that interview. My decision to risk the embarrassment. My decision to ask a stranger for a random ride and risk that embarrassment and awkwardness. And her decision to say yes. My decision to continue going even when I really wanted to give up. It made all the difference. My name's Trong, and I'll see you guys next time.